Hello everyone, it's me, Clayton. I just finished watching episode 3 of Moon Knight. Now, after spending the first two episodes mainly with Stephen Grant, Mark Spector takes over the majority of this episode. And he definitely does embrace the mercenary lifestyle while also finding out more about Arthur Haro, the gods of Egypt, and how they connect to this Amit that we've been hearing about. Let's get to the story, shall we? This episode has us in Cairo as Mark Spector manages to try to get some information out of some mercenaries, but they seem to be the kind of lunatics who would rather die than say anything about Amit. So, Mark needs to, to go to a meeting involving the avatars of the other Egyptian gods. Apparently, Khonshu isn't the only Egyptian god who's able to take over a human host as an avatar. There are others who are able to do so. And... Even though Khonshu tries to plead his case and say that Arthur Haro is a psychopath who's going to bring back Amit, they don't believe him, especially considering that that Haro is able to use Mark and Stephen's own tor torn relationship and their his, and his and the two personalities in one body, and he's able to throw that right back at him, which actually makes me appreciate Haro as more of a clever antagonist, especially considering that he never initiates the violence. In every single scene he's in, he always either smooth talks his way out of the situation or offers someone a taste of Amit's power and then he's able to get that person on their side and Mark is unable to do anything about it outside of punch and kick things and uh, and shoot people and yeah violence doesn't always work especially when it's not allowed in a chamber but Mark also is led to the location of a sarcophagus that could lead to someone who someone who could reveal the location of Amit's tomb. That happens to be in a big party that happens to work well for an action scene involving both Stephen and Mark's version of the Moon Knight, the one with the suit, and the one with the more typical comic costume. And I really like how Mark and, and Stephen get to play off each other. Even though they're both played by Oscar Isaac, he's able to switch between the two personalities almost seamlessly. And also, Layla gets a chance to show off what she can do. Obviously, she's not as capable as Moon Knight, because, come on. But she's able to hold her own when she needs to, and she is decent with a gun, so I can see why Khonshu thinks that she could be another host if Mark fails him. But I am still pretty... I am still pretty sus on Khonshu, considering how little he's telling everyone, and considering how suspicious he ends up being. Steven's mainly helping out because he clearly realizes he has no other choice. And because if he doesn't help out, then not only will Mark die, but he'll die along with him, I guess. So, I also really like the uh, visual effects here. The, the scene where Khonshu and Steven get to play around with the stars as they end up trying to find a constellation that leads to the exact coordinates of the tomb... That was crazy. I don't think I've seen any film set partially in Egypt that actually happens to do that. It really does take control of the science and magic of the Marvel Universe, and it happens to actually translate that onto Disney+, Plus, which is what I think some of these shows were actually missing for a little bit. On top of that, I really think... I do think that since we're halfway through the series, we should learn more about this on it, though. Haro's been talking about her ever since episode one, yet we don't know that much about her. We got a little bit about the other gods, particularly the goddess of music and love, who seems to have somewhat of a connection to Khonshu, but nothing about any of the other ones. So, I'd like that in the second half moving forward. But so far, I think I'm really excited to see what the rest of the series is about, especially considering that the action, the acting, and the characters have all really interested me, more than most of the other Disney Plus shows. So that's all I have to say about this episode. Let's hope next week gives us some more answers.